Zoom Ritter Sturz is the giant flume ride at Wilden Freisei Park Klotten in West Germany. This water ride has some intriguing elements. It has a dark ride section, a large elevator lift, a coaster drop, and a massive final plunge. Now those elements should make it one of the best water rides in the world. But looks can be deceiving, as you'll find out in this review of Zoom Ritter Sturz. This attraction opened in 2012. Designed by ABC Rides, this flume opened before all the theming was completed. Hansa Park did something similar with both Fluke von Novgorod and Schwerdes Karnen. And it's understandable why a park like Klotten would want to get a signature new attraction open as soon as possible if the ride system is ready to go. The dark ride section opened relatively soon, but the full exterior structure wasn't fully finished until 2020. If you look at pictures from Zoom Ritter Sturz's opening year, it looks naked. The water ride just plainly stood over the Heist Fart roller coaster. Over the next few years, a partial shell of a building was erected. The castle wasn't finished until 2020 when Kuna Bears Abenter, a shooting dark ride, opened inside that very structure. Between the impressive castle and dragon adjacent to the splashdown, this is now one of the best looking water rides in the world. The presentation is top notch. The entrance to the queue line is over by Heisfart, so you have a long walk to actually get to this water ride. While the queue line doesn't have much theming, it does offer some great vantage points of the Gerslauer coaster next door. I visited Clotten on a rather cool and rainy day, so Zoom Ritter Sturz was a walk on. But from others who have visited the park in other days, minimal ways seem to be commonplace. Each boat seats up to six riders, however there is a weight limit of 70 kilograms or 154 pounds for the front row. I strongly recommend sitting in the back unless you want your shoes to be destroyed. Zoom Ritter Sturz translates to For the Fall of the Night and the station fittingly has some medieval theming. You have some cartoony murals and tapestries bearing emblems and the crests make their way onto the boats as well. Each rider has their own individual restraint, and once checked, the doorway opens and you float into the short dark ride section. It's no more than 30 seconds in length, but it's pretty good. The themed brick walls and lighting are on point, and there are a few sets as well. Most figures are static, but they look fine for a regional park like Clotten. The end of the dark ride bit has this princess above your head dumping a deluge of water. While the effect will cut out right before you pass under it, the bucket will still hit you with a steady stream of water, but that's nothing compared to what's coming. Once outside, you approach the towering elevator lift hill. This is a mesmerizing system that not only brings you to the ride's highest point of 82 feet or 25 meters, but it also rotates 180 degrees in the ascent. Not only is this motion sort of freaky, but you get a breathtaking view of the surrounding area. Clotten is located atop a hill so you can see for miles in any direction. Once at the top, you roll forwards down a small drop. And much to my surprise, this drop actually had a little pop of airtime. But it was all downhill from there. The subsequent ascent tracks as poorly as an RCCA roller coaster. It shakes profusely, and if you watch my POV, you can hear and see the rattle. And it only gets worse the ascent immediately leads into the sizable final plunge. Now this drop is quite tall for a water ride and has a fairly steep 56 degree angle. However, there is a very surprising and painful trim at the start of the drop. Just listen to my reaction on my first ride. Oh. You head into the final drop with some speed, so you're already lurching forwards. The trim brake then hits the second you start banking downwards so you're abruptly slammed forwards into the lap bar. It's an unpleasant gut check. I gave the ride a second chance and properly braced for it. It was still a buzzkill and sorta of hurt, but not nearly as violent. As a thrill seeker, I certainly wish there wasn't a trim, but at the very least, I wish it were positioned elsewhere. I understand why it's not in the prior ascent due to valleying concerns, but I wish it were further down the drop so you can at least still get the thrill of the initial descent and properly braced for the slowdown. There is one other surprise if you're in the middle row. There's this weird hole in the boat, so the water jets from the drop will shoot into the boat and destroy your shoes if you're in that middle seat. 
That didn't happen on the back row thankfully, and I'm not sure if it happens up front because I was too heavy for that seat. The drop itself had decent speed, but due to the trim, you won't get any airtime. Then comes the final splash, and it's an absolute soaker. No one will come off dry. You then slowly float back towards the station. On the way, you pass this cool looking dragon on your right, and you also pass a stone fortress on your left with a cannon that sometimes hit riders with another blast of water. So what would I rate Zoom Ritter Sturts? I would give this flume ride a 5 out of 10. This ride is a mixed bag. On one hand, the theming on the building, station, and dark ride section looks very good for a park like Clotten. It's the type of theming I expect on one of my favorite water rides. This ride had a great atmosphere. I also love the vertical lift for both its motion and views. But the ride butchers the drop sequence. The bunny hill track poorly, and that final plunge is spoiled by that uncomfortable trim break. This ride is a great option on a hot day though, because it'll get you absolutely soaked, and it's a unique package between those visuals and the ride system. I just wish the ultimate execution was better. So those are my thoughts on Zoom Ritter Sturts. What are your thoughts on this flume ride? Did you have a similar experience to me? I would love to hear your thoughts on this ride down in the comments. If you enjoyed this review, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a like, and you consider subscribing, because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.